Okay, I, I saw there was a rune sphere on the top floor. I just had to do it. Starting off week week eight. Here we go. I remember to do that this time. Uh and luckily it happened like just in time. I've got a class in seventeen minutes and it's like a twenty minute walk, so uh, there we go. Finishing off level seventy seven. Got blood runes, uh greater missile greater missile platforms. There we go, my first uh blood runes siphoned in here. Um, cool, yeah, going the rest of the way to 82, which is going to take some time, but, you know, I'm going to be here at least today and probably tomorrow. So, the first few folks have watched the, uh, last week's video, and it was the first video that I was plan not planning on posting to Reddit, uh, specifically because not much happened in it, uh, but then it came to my attention... Uh, a few people brought it up, that I screwed up, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, lots of clips are out of order, I completely forgot to add the title in that I, that I normally do, uh, and either, like, I screwed up and put in the clips in the wrong order, or, like, Windows or Movie Maker organized them wrong because of the, the, the month change from November to December, um, so, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's like the beginning of the week started at like the 11 minute mark or something and then the beginning of the video is afterwards so it's it's all kinds of screwed up yeah i'm gonna try not to do that again and uh someone did ask if there if there's going to be more clips like are the, are the videos going to be longer soon and yes i'm planning on starting another series for those that like uh shorter videos um, it'll also be weekly, it'll coincide with this series, be the same account, it'll just be focused on, um, PVM, instead of just general progress, uh, and it'll be a weekly upload on probably Mondays or Tuesdays, where the other videos for this main series come up on Fridays. Uh, planning on doing that probably starting the week, uh, following finals, so, like, after this week finishes is probably going to be that first, uh, episode. Um, I'm also just trying to get Prif out of the way first, so I can really start PVing him in with, like, Morvran, for example. Uh, so yeah, that's what's coming up. Apologize for screwing up. Um, on to the next clip. So, seeing as it is, uh, Friday, there's still, you know, a few more hours left for me to grind. Probably, uh, one, two, maybe three. Um, but, I'm halfway to my goal to 82, uh, where I started at 77, so... Uh, that's that's pretty good progress for the day for only like four or five hours of, you know, really AFKing. I mean, I was playing uh, League of Legends on one screen and then alt tabbing to to click something else to siphon and going back. So uh, I mean that that's pretty good progress. Um, so I'll almost almost certainly hit that tomorrow, seeing as I still have a rune sphere to do today. I've got the rune sphere after the next daily reset to do. Oh man, I didn't even. Yeah, I haven't logged yet to get my new daily, and <laughs> it's it's been five hours, so that shows that I've been, you know, at least clicking every five minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so so getting back in there, doing that grind. Uh, divination is a waste, so uh, yeah, gonna reroll that. Hopefully, I'll get something good. I'll probably take anything over divination, uh, since divination is just cash. I've been kind of ignoring cash, but eventually I'll have to you know, pick it up and take care of that. Um, yeah, so back to this. So OBS was having some uh, trouble, like, picking up the game window. Um, oh, it's day 51, not 50. Uh, yeah, towards the end of the day, actually, um, which is you know, just after the daily reset. Uh, new is to mine 7 Adior. Uh, I mean, okay, I, I'll probably just see to re-roll that, um, I don't know, getting really close, I mean, really close, 1300 XP away from that 82 runecrafting, just so I can do some more runecrafting at, uh, Astral's, and, uh, yeah, so I accomplished that goal, um, gonna do some dailies and do some more runecrafting, maybe, I don't know, 10,000 Astral's or something like that, or, or more, so I can, uh, grind through farming to 63, or maybe even 65, uh, cause 65 for a while Gothic sleeps, but that can be boosted, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, yeah, so I, I got this goal out of the way, 82 runecrafting, it's about to ding. 
And there are the fireworks. That was a quick cut there just to cut the uh, the time down a bit. Okay, two two astral runes per essence. Finally, now if you want to see my inventory here, uh, quite a few points, uh, just over fourteen thousand. But now I'm going to teleport up to the wizard's tower. Clean that out because there we go. Getting that wicked robe top. I'm not going to worry about buying the um, greater runic staff and uh, massive pouches. I don't know how much they'll help, uh, but I do need to buy a steam, um, and that's like this is for trim comp. So yeah, I'll buy up to here. Let's see. Cool. So that's how much I have taken care of here. It'll take a while to get this, like, 207,000 points. But, um, uh, you know, if I ever go for trimmed, uh, it's part of the way taken care of. So I did the two rerolls, and, uh, one of them turned into Infernal Urns. The other turned into, <laughs> uh, Blood Runes. Uh, Blood Runes is going to take a while to do, uh, but I will just because runecrafting is generally pretty slow. Um... And I'm actually going to take care of these Infernal Urns right now. I've already been doing some runecrafting. You can see I'm up to 1,500 Astrals. Uh, and I'll start doing Livid Farm before too long. And, yeah. And there is that extended Infernal Urns daily taken care of. 41k crafting. Uh, it's a little worse than I expected, but that's fine. Um, four uncut Dragon Stones, which I will uh, quickly cut for some more crafting XP. I cut all the rest of my, my gems, which uh, got me quite a bit, too. Uh, so now about 490k away, uh, which is probably going to be mostly uh, silver bars from uh, temple trekking once I get there. Just picked up 70 crafting while doing a livid farm here. Uh, encourage. There we go. Um, I'm going to get like a 15k farming XP bonus from uh, Spirit of Summer. It's a little like extra reward after the quest. Oh, day 52 now. Um, and I think I'm going to do Grim Tales for an extra 5k. And then I'm going to get 2 or 3k. Um, or like about 5k, I guess, between uh, this daily challenge and just doing a, a basic allotment run. Uh, so I don't have that much more to go. You can see my farming XP. Uh, about 40k away from um, my goal. Uh, yeah, doing quite a bit of livid farm. You see I'm up to 24,000 points now. And uh, I runecrafted quite a lot to get there. So, And there's the end of Grim Tales. Quite a bit of XP, actually, for, for a really easy quest there. And that should be <laughs> thieving level? Okay. Is that also a farming level? Yeah, there we go. Branches of Darkmire. So I'm going to go take care of uh, Legacy of Seergaze and Branches of Darkmire. Oh boy. Well, that quest took quite a lot of time, but uh, taken care of. And get this Tome of XP. Uh, drop it all on Herb Lore because, I mean, there's no other option, right? Cool. Herblore level. That's nice. Okay. Um, time to do branches, I think. Uh, and after I do that, I think I might go do some DG or something like that. This is getting pretty low. Um, and uh, I still need to get stuff like the, the Charming Imp. And uh, I think I might still have a scroll missing. And I want to start building up for uh, other Chaotics. So whenever I grind out that 75 prayer at Frost Dragons, uh, which is what I'm going to do with um, Blisterwood uh, 70 attack weapons, uh, whenever I hit 80 attack, I can move up to like Chaotic Rapiers. There's the end of Branches of Darkmire. Awesome. Uh, 210,000 experience flat. Oh man. And uh, much, much more. All on Herb Lore. Because, yeah, there's like no other option. 67 now. That's fantastic. I'm getting uh, 
yeah, getting on my way to 75. Uh, unlock anything else? Let's see. Super defense. Nice. Um, that looks like about it. Okay, uh, I can now clean Lantidimes too. I have a lot of those. Uh, awesome. Uh, Dragon's Medallion, which will help with uh, doing barrows. And yeah, uh, I already made myself a um, Blisterwood uh, melee weapon. Um, yeah, so now I can do uh, Frost Dragons. Cool. And just to really solidify today as a quest day, I did the World Wakes. Uh, no, not not really. I didn't want to just continue doing quests. Um, but uh, what I really came here for was these static lamps right here. I realized I didn't quite have 70 attack yet, so um, I can't. Yeah, I can't use these on our blur. So uh, don't think I can use it on prayer or summoning. I'm not gonna bother uh, getting them to 65 for it. It's no big deal. Um, so I guess I'll use it on strength, and then I'll make that 70 as well. And I have one more, and more attack, sure. Uh, then I've got these ancient lamps that are only for 75 uh, slayer lamp. Cool, 110,000 slayer. Uh, then 80 prayer for that, so I'll destroy these. And these, I can get them back later. They don't need this gift. Awesome. There's 70 attack, 70 strength, 76 slayer. Oh, Fate of the Gods, cool. Okay, just turning in my daily for today. Dagonoth bones, eh, 5k XP, no big deal. Doing a little bit of temple trekking, working on the, uh, the comp requirement, and getting some um, silver bars for crafting. And... Uh, there we go, I just got this, which is... Okay, I guess that's that's nice. Oh yeah, cool. Um, yeah, and for some reason, I keep doing like all hards, not avoiding anything, killing all the mobs and stuff like that. And I've gotten uh, two yellow reward tokens, even though like I'm doing all hards. It's kind of a... Uh, eh. It really sucks. But um, this is what I have so far. I've already burned through like 480 or something like that. Because uh, I did like two runs of temple trekking uh, while doing those quests earlier. Just, you know, going back and forth, it made things easier. Um, cool. 2,000 bars here, and I need about 8,000 to get all the way to uh, 75. It's a little bit more than that. It's like, I don't know, 8150 or something like that. So... Well on my way there. And now it's day 53. Uh, I finished up last night doing some uh, temple trekking. And you can see my crafting has already gone up a bit. I've gotten a, a lot of that out of the way. Um, I've got like 3,000 silver bars still saved up. And I thought I'd come use up some of my um, prayer supplies that I have banked here. Uh, it's not too many. Um, but I just wanted to get them out of the way to see about how many like frost dragons I need to kill. Um, since I already had a little bit of stuff in my bank. Uh, so yeah, that's what I've been working on. I'll show um, the silver bars that I have saved up uh, right here. 3k. I went and picked up my miscellanea, so there's a lot of maple logs now. And here's 1600 unstrung emblems. Uh, let's see. Ashes. And I've got some big bones. Use those. Use the frost dragon bones last. Um, just because I have a big stack of them. And yeah, that's what I've been working on, uh, doing some reading and whatnot today, some studying, because I do have two finals tomorrow, uh, so not much is happening right now, but a lot more will happen tomorrow. So, turning in the Blood Runes Daily Challenge, that took quite a while, so, eh, okay, like 30k XP, or, uh, about 27k, so it's decent. Oh, it took the runes, okay. Right, that's why you don't do rune crafting dailies, because they give back rune essence instead of pure. Is that. Uh, okay. Well, <clears throat> that was, I guess, a waste of time. <laughs> it wasn't that much by way of XP. And we get crappy rune essence back. Well, 
Um, all right, I also burnt through my herbaler supplies, got up to 68. Um, going to put all of the Wild Gothic Sleeps experience on that, and then like this daily, maybe this weekly, once it shows up again, and a, l a little bit more bonus XP lamps, like maybe I'll do some tasks or something. That'll get me the rest of the way to 75. Um, okay, back to working on crafting, and uh, might do some fishing or something like that. I feel fairly low on monkfish. I got like under 200 again, um, so I go fish some more, use some fishing irons, and uh, yeah. Saving up these prawn balls, because for, before too long I'm going to go hunt down a lot of those golden eggs. So my new daily is the uh, Bando's Throne Room again. Um, so I'm just going to re-roll that. Hopefully I'll get something better. Uh, Smith Mithril Burial Armor. Um, I mean, that's a lot of smithing XP. I'm not going to be able to do it right off the bat, but uh, that's definitely what I'm going to go with. So, while I've been uh, studying and stuff, I realized that uh, there's a little goal that I have that's, uh, that's coming up. Oh, I should update this to 1897. Um, and that is, I want a chaotic rapier and offhand rapier, a crossbow and offhand crossbow, as well as a charming imp and to repair my chaotic staff. Uh, and to do all of that, um, well, one, it would be fairly useful to get 90 Dungeoneering in the first place, just so I can get uh, ports open, right? Well, <laughs> all of that together, uh, the amount of tokens I need, gets me, like, to level 97. I set the level target to 97 instead of, you know, the amount of XP I actually need to get all of those tokens. Um, but 97 is going to take quite a while. It's something I'm going to start working on sometime soon. Uh, probably before I get to 75 summoning and plagues end, I want to get that charming imp out of the way just so I can uh, power slay, run through a lot of tasks really quick, and not have to worry about running around to pick up all of the charm drops. Um, yeah, so that's something that you might see happening sometime soon. Uh, yeah. Super unlucky at Tears of Guthix this week. Really, that's just upsetting. 109. But, um,. Good XP drop, I guess. Got me a summoning level, and 1900 total, which is a pretty big one. Yeah. Cool. So, I finished the uh, Krill Reaper task that I had saved up for a while. Uh, zero Reaper points, because I went on like a re-rolling frenzy. Uh, but 12k Slayer XP, which is nice. Uh, and probably a good bit of magic XP. Didn't really get any drops. Uh, you can see here, this is about all I got, aside from just a lot of food. Um, but I mean, 20 Lantadimes is kind of useful. Sure. Uh, time to pick up another task, though. Um, I'm still listening to, like, Khan Academy videos, uh, doing studying for, for my <laughs> exams tomorrow. Um, let's see, 14 more from Krill. Uh... I mean, I guess I can. Yeah, I, I guess I should, because I, I kind of need the the other pieces still. Uh, these three. Um, yeah. Oh, and I still don't have a, uh, what is it, Zamorakian Spear. That's just, oh man. You know, I got really lucky getting the, uh, <laughs> the pet drop um, a while back. But I'm up to 188 kill count with no spear, which is 1 in 72 and only uh, three armor pieces, two of which were repeats. So, Krill is really just it's painful. Gosh. Doing some quick uh, temple trekking while still studying and about to go to sleep, and got my first piece of the Lumberjack set. Uh, I already have like three or so pieces of uh, the Constructor set, and this is my first piece of the Lumberjack, which is uh, awesome. Alright, so last minute uh, studying slash farming of Temple Trekking. Uh, I've gotten both easy and medium followers to 99 so far, and I just started on the hards. And uh, this is all of the silver bars I need left to get to 75 crafting. Awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go work on that later tonight after I go take two exams right now. Over here, um, 
the clip I made earlier was day 54, but now day 54 here in Artisan's Workshop, uh, working on that Mithril Burial Armor daily challenge. I already had enough Mithril Ore in the bank, um, and I did a little bit more Temple Trekking. I uh, got my hard followers to around 30 or 40 uh, to get the coal that I needed. It's actually a really good source of coal, decent source of iron if you need it. Uh, so I'll be working on this for a little bit, get through this daily challenge, and then maybe work on the um, the other iron ore that I have built up. I, I don't know how much it is, but it's, it's quite a bit. It's probably around uh, 2,000 or something like that by now. Um, yeah, that's work what I'm working on now. Uh, I've got all of those silver ingots, like I mentioned in the last clip, so I'm going to get that to 75. Uh, then this, uh, Aberrant Spectre's Slayer task, and I'll probably work on some more Slayer, or just Power Slay uh, Aberrant Spectres to get Herbler up. Uh, and then it's just like a thousand Frost Dragons for 75 prayer. And I'm, uh, oh, and then, okay, a while at, at Water Fiends or something like that. A while doing Slayer. Um, so I'll probably get my charming up before I keep doing summoning, but yeah. And then uh, Prif time, getting pretty close. So I did that uh, Mithril daily, didn't take too long, and then I did a lot of iron. So I burned through like, I don't know, well over 80k XP or something like that. I've got a 2600 left over here. You can see I'm about to go do the silver bars now. This is me turning in the challenge. Uh, I didn't know I was going to get a reward bag. Nice. Hopefully it'll be uh, worth quite a bit. Uh, it's only like 14k XP, so that's, that's okay. Uh, six runite ore. Alright. Well, 30 rune. Yeah. Okay. Um, back to this. I'm using the uh, Varok armor. I don't know if I showed uh, getting it, but I do have Varok armor 1 at least. And um, I'm just using the Edgeful Furnace running back and forth because I'm pretty sure it's the closest, or, you know, it's about the closest. I think the um, the one over in uh, Port Phasmatis might be a little bit closer, but it's no big deal. So, yeah, just got a little bit of this to run through now. Got that new daily of combat, reroll, and dungeoneering or combat. Mm. I mean, dungeoneering is good XP, but I'm about to grind a lot of it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Combat, give me like a, a lamp or something. Oh, I guess I'll keep the combat or so. Yeah, fine. I need strength to like 77 or 80 for quests. I might be like 82 or something for the last ones. Um, and I'm on my way to... I'll get 80 attack anyway from Frost Dragons, but training strength after the fact is going to be kind of slow. Uh, so yeah, I'll just take the, the combat lamp. Maybe it'll work on summoning or prayer. I don't think so. Maybe. Uh, yep, still working on these. So, been doing some fishing to finish up the day. I uh, finished up 75 crafting as well and sold all the rest of those uh, holy symbols for like 200k, which is pretty nice. Um, like I said, I needed more, more monkfish, and you can see my prawn balls are surely adding up. Um, yeah, just just casually fishing. Played some league with, uh, with friends, which was fun. Um, only gone through like 40k fishing XP in an hour and a half, though, so it's not too much. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, just uh, chilling out for the rest of today. Tomorrow I'm going to get on the uh, the Slayer train. Oh yeah, I did some DG too. That's right. I got up to, uh, to 20k tokens and restarted my prestige. Um, so I'll definitely finish that up for the Charming Imp and then start doing some Slayer. And I'll probably finish up the week with that 75 ranged. Um, and I don't know. Maybe I'll do the 75 herb lore? No, no. I might do everything up to Wild Gothic Sleeps, which I'm putting the Wild Gothic Sleeps XP on Herblor. Might do some task sets or something, you know, just to keep trying to put XP into it so I don't have to grind herbs. Um, but I've got a little bit to go. I think it's everywhere, everything up to Morning's in Part 2, yeah. Path of the Glaufry, no problem. Dream Mentor, no problem. Uh, and, and Bork. <laughs> uh, let's see, rewards. Yeah, 400,000 XP in any skill over 65, which... I have 200k herb lore left after this, so it's not too big a deal. Uh, yeah, so that, that's, that's the plan to wrap up the end of this week.
And here we are, day 55, rolling on through. Uh, opened up all of my uh, prawn things. Okay, just going to activate all of these. Alright, and these. Oh wow, those are 100 each, cool. Um, I guess I can throw all the rest of this stuff in here. I think I have uh, some of it already in my POH, a little bit of that stuff at least. And I don't have any barren sharks. Alright. Uh, I'll put those over there, those in there. Baron sharks can go right there. Or no, wait. Yeah, they're 2,000. Okay. Alright, so i um, going to go do some barbarian fishing with those prawn pennies just to get some more, uh, uh, what are they called? Golden fish eggs. And then um, after blowing through all of those charges, uh, I don't know. On to something else. Oh, in total... I collected, uh, eh, like 500 something monkfish. So, yeah, I'll be good for a little while. Alright, you can see I've only done, uh, gotten five prawn balls worth, and there's the golden leaping trout. So, uh, I know I'm at the login screen, so I'm not really showing off gameplay. Uh, but you can see here, uh, my subscription, it had a little dot by it, and now it doesn't. Um, that's because I just got Premier Club, uh, silver at least. I may upgrade to gold later, uh, but I, I don't know if it's going to take me, you know, that long to get Comp Cape. Um, sort of an investment into my channel to see see where it goes after this, um, but it, it's mostly just because I'm, I'm lazy as shit and I don't feel like going on my other account to get bonds from now uh, from time to time. Uh, okay, I've got the desert. Pantheon Aura. Now, I'm going to post a straw poll link in the uh, the description of this video. Um, I don't know if the the one I've already made is going to still be around when this video goes up. Uh, I don't know how long they take to expire. Um, but I really just want to know if you guys are okay with me getting auras. Auras in general for PVM, uh, or maybe like Jack of Trades specifically for Herblore. Um... I feel like Jack of Trades is kind of cheaty because, you know, Iron Man mode is, is blocked from, like, Treasure Hunter, which is where you would normally uh, buy experience. Or, like, you can't trade with other players, which you could normally spend GP to directly buy experience for something like Herblore. Instead, you have to spend your time to, uh, to specifically grind out those items and then use those items to train, which takes a lot more time. And because something like Jack of Trades saves you a lot of time... Uh, it feels like you're, you know, you're, you're kind of going against the heart of the mode. Um, but, you know, if, if the overall consensus is I should get it to try and speed up my progress, then I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Or if it's just only by PVM auras, like, uh, you know, vampirism, so I can, I can leech or, like, penance or something, one of the accuracy ones, that's fine too. Um, so you know, respond to that in the, uh, the comments. If you made it this far in the video, I, I really value your criticism more than anything else. A lot of people only watch a few minutes, you know. Um, so yeah, back to Dungeoneering. Uh, that's what I worked on after fishing, and I'm up to 28k tokens. I had, uh, just started a new prestige I'm up to, like, floor 13 or something like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, back to this. So, just got done with the uh, uh, 31st floor, which means uh, I have 43 unlocked right now. It'll be like 44, maybe even 45 by the time I, uh, I'm finishing up this prestige. Definitely 44. Um, so, I'm going to go and start doing medium floors now. It took maybe an hour to an hour and a half of grinding to go through all that, which isn't too bad. Uh, and I finished the Rampage Challenge while I was in there. Get this XP lamp. Yeah, okay. Um, I wanted to put it on strength, but I'll go ahead and put it on attack, just because uh, it's more efficient to have a higher attack level. Uh, 12k, it's no big deal. Uh, I did get my new daily, and I re-rolled it. It was uh, light beacons, which... <laughs> okay. Um, so, you know, my re-roll is pretty good. Uh, getting to do ceremonial swords, even more smithing XP. Um... And yeah, 7% of the way there on, on the way to this Dungeoneering goal. It's going to be like, I don't know, six full prestiges or something like that to get everything that I'm looking to get. Uh, so I'm probably going to, you know, pace myself. Like, at least get the Charming Imp for now. 
and then go do some other stuff, then maybe come back and, you know, so I don't go crazy. <laughs> oh man, a room with two herb lord doors. Ah, so nice. Alright, so day 56, last day of week 8, uh, starting off the day uh, with the first part of my dungeoneering grind taken care of. Come here, charming imp. There we go. That's the first time I've ever owned this on an account, which uh, feels pretty good. Can't add it to tool belt yet because of the uh, yeah, Slayer Master. Uh, I thought I could put it in the pocket slot. Yeah, where? Cool. Awesome. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, on to the next clip. Also, I want to note that I uh, configured him so that I will keep the Crimson and Blue Charms, and he can eat these for summoning XP. Uh, I have quite a few built up, and they're really just inefficient to use uh, Green and, and uh, Gold Charms on Iron Man, so I don't plan on using these thousand that I already have, and uh, I'd rather just get straight XP instead of getting more of these to build up. Alright, took care of that Aberrant Spectre task. Got some pretty good herb drops. Uh, it's only worth a few thousand experience, but, you know, that's something. Um, just gonna keep doing Slayer for a little bit, uh, or at least going to get this task and, and seeing what it is. I don't plan on skipping many more tasks uh, for a little bit, unless I really have to. Like, if it's, um, you know, like a Metal Dragon task or something that would take forever, I'll skip it. But uh, other than that, I'm going to try to build up Slayer points so I can like, attach this to Tool Belt and unlock the, the full Slayer Helm and whatnot. So I'm here in Tiroin for the first time. Uh, spoiler, you can kind of guess what's coming up next. Uh, <laughs> first time at one of these damn stick traps and I pass it successfully. I don't, I don't know how that happens. That's insane. <laughs> They should really do something about this, you know, like, hmm, I wonder what this is up here, huh? What's up, what's up there? It's some strange towers and stuff that aren't supposed to exist until the end of Plague's End. Hmm. I love this penguin right here so much. So much. <laughs> I, I walked up and I knew it was a penguin before, like, seeing the spy on option, but I, I absolutely love this. When he, like, runs around and the head's popping off and stuff. <laughs> uh, so, this part of the quest, I click here, and then I do this. Oh, what? I don't want to use that for ammo. Oh. Uh, and there's the end of Regicide. Wonder what's next. So I picked up the uh, KGP teleport animation about a week ago for free, and I think it's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and there's the end of catapult construction, if the screen pops up. And... Eh? Do I need to talk to the guy again, maybe? Oh, there we go. Okay. Cool. Uh, 30 teak planks. Sure. Addy Halberd. I'll probably just alk it. <laughs> uh, awesome. On to the next clip. Got my new daily, and it's a summoning one, which is uh, pretty good. I got... Summoning, smithing, and construction all to do, which are all really good dailies to have, so uh, I'll take care of this eventually. There's Roving Elves complete, and I got the uh, crystal bow. Awesome. Okay, so I'm doing some uh, some farming here at the Chaos Dwarves, and I got... Whenever spirit gems drop, they, they show me a, a beam, so back-to-back -back golden beams, it just... <laughs> My heart right now, man. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait, that's not it. <gasps> wait, is that it? Oh. Uh. Well, today officially ends the week, week eight, two months into the account. Uh, you can see I'm just doing more grinding here. Got like three more hand cannons and, uh, yeah, 
I've gone through two full, like, super attack, super strength, super defense sets. Uh, I don't know how long that, that really takes, but I've, I've been here a, a few hours total. Um, I don't know, hopefully I'll get this thing before too long. I absolutely hate this zone, it's just... Uh, I don't know, something about it that I just, I can't stand. Oh, well, um, let's see, I am almost to 35 million experience, and uh, level 19, 13, and, uh, yeah, my quest done. Uh, if you had, you gotta add, like, five, because I restarted Dimension of Disaster, uh, and it took that off completion, so that puts me at 173 out of 215. I'm way up there. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep working on this. Uh, tomorrow's probably gonna be like a rune span day or something like that. Something really, uh, AFK. Um, because I need to do that, that final, final of mine, like writing a paper, so. Uh, yeah, this is me signing off week eight. Uh, thanks for watching.